tracks. I'm Bobby the Wolf Mullins, your paranormal shot jock, your DJ, the outlaw, the number one bad boy in paranormal. And this is Wolf Tracks, my show, my way. <laughs> Let me give my disclaimer right quick. You don't like what you see, you don't like what you hear, the topics, the language, hell, the equipment, the equipment, then turn me off. By God, if you like the topics, the language, the equipment, the host, whatever, by God, turn me on. And you're currently listening to Ozzy Osbourne bark at the moon. Yeah, I figure it's fitting. What the hell? I have a little change up, right? Let me uh <laughs> fill up my girl, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, gotta have a little of that, you know what I'm saying? Hope that's decent background music. You know, what the hell, right? Woo! Gotta have a little of this. Oh, damn, that's good. Woo! You know, when you get a good girl, you gotta keep filling her up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, guys, look. Last show, I did thing for the jacket and the whole uh, Paranormal's Raw Truth thing, which I'm excited about, which is in the background, is my acceptance letter into the PRT, Paranormal's Raw Truth, the uh, da -da -da, Wolf Tracks chapter. I'm the head of the southern chapter of PRT, Paranormal Raw Truth. Yeah, kind of a big deal, guys. But I have another big deal, just letting you know. And I was the first one to receive mine. I just didn't put it on the show just yet. But I want to let you know, your boy, Bobby the Wolf Mullins. Ta -da, got his Emmy, baby. Let's see. Best new radio show of 2012, Wolf Tracks. Get some! Bunch of haters. Yeah, you bunch of haters. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? Yeah, ain't that pretty? I will let me guys stand it on there. Yeah! Uh-huh. I'm the first one to get it. I got mine from the boss. <laughs> oh. And I promise I won't make it an ashtray. You know what I'm saying? For all those who watch my older shows, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I've been kind of a thorn in the boss's side for years. So, uh, boss... And uh, the team who voted or did the indiscriminate judging of whatever the hell went on. Man, Wolf Tracks, thanks you. Bobby the Wolf Mullins, thanks you. And uh, hopefully there's many more of these to come, guys. Um, I just want to thank uh, everybody who's pulled for me, everybody who's backed me, everybody who's enjoyed watching the insanity I call Wolf Tracks. And uh, I, hope, uh, I hope all of y'all have enjoyed me... Uh, Making you think, picking your brain, and uh, having an impartial view, you know, filtered through a beer. You know, I'm not your typical paranormal host. I'm kind of a unique item. Uh, like I said, I'm the outlaw, the undesirable, the number one bad boy of paranormal. I'm the guy they want to talk about, but I'm not the guy they want to talk to. You know what I'm saying? Scared. Mr. Zappis. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no hard feelings. No hard feelings. Hey, I can use this as a pointer. Right? And class, we'll look at this today. And over there, there'll be this. And over there, and you take the map, and you take the coefficient of the sun from the radius. See? Oh, it could be a magic wand. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. This is my Emmy. I'm very proud of it. So, like I said, I'd like to thank all my supporters, all the people that voted for me, uh, the judges. Thank you very much for noticing potential. You know, bottom of the barrel kind of guy. Um... This show started off as Ghost Tales Radio uh, for all my uh, older fans who've been watching and progressed into what's called Wolf Tracks of the Paranormal. To give you an idea, uh, a little background on what's going on, the other person I'd like to thank, believe it or not, is Richard Parnell of uh, GTN. Without him, believe it or not, guys, the outlaw, the number one bad boy, the undesirable would not have existed. Number one, he told me I had to reinvent myself. Because if you remember correctly, I started off as the green jacket guy. Uh, just something a fan said during a, I don't know, an investigation we did into a, like, it was like a little PNR, a PR thing. We went to a little costume shop, took photos, did a little, uh, you know, investigation going on just to promote, you know, the business and our show and whatever. Well, some of the people in this costume shop recognized Richard. Parnell. And uh, one of the girls actually recognized me and she called me the green jacket guy because I, I wore this green military jacket in every investigation. 
Well, number one, it had a lot of pockets on it. <laughs> I just like the jacket. But uh, I used that during Ghost Tales, uh, the radio show. Well, I had to get... Uh, Richard noticed uh, potential. Let's just say there was potential in this old wolf. And uh, noticed that the green jacket guy title wasn't enough, we'll say. Well, he told me I had to reinvent myself. So I chose Bobby the Wolf Mullen, something I had to uh, delve off into my past to get a hold of. Um, high school, I was known as White Wolf, so I, I chose Bobby the Wolf Mullins, and it's worked well for me so far. But, needless to say, because of my personal issues, and or whatnot, um, Ghost Tales, the radio show, died. <laughs> I got fired. Well... That's the reason I'm thanking Richard Parnell and Teresa Parnell. Because had it not been for them in firing me, it would not have given me the initiative to create this show, Wolf Tracks into the Paranormal. Uh, I've met a lot of people through doing this. A lot of great people. Um, Gary Manley, uh, Lee Brown... I've met Christy Bradshaw, uh, Rainbow Al, uh, Rick Wiggerson. Um, I've met uh, uh, the owners of PN, uh, the Pen, uh, the owners of BTVN. I've met, you know, I've met all kinds of people, and it, it's it's amazing. Once you start something like this, the people you run into that have been doing this a long, long time. Uh, my boss said I made a mistake by locking horns of one of the big dogs in the paranormal yard. Well, I did. And that's probably the, that's the reason I got, well, fired <laughs> from Ghost Tales Radio. But in doing so, in doing so, picking a fight with the biggest dog in the yard, let's just say the biggest dog in the yard knows who I am now. <laughs> that's right. He knows who I am. Now, in saying that, it might not have been a great career move, <laughs> but it might pan out in the end. But I just want to let you know, guys, thank you very much for the Emmy. Thank you very much, fans, uh, people who voted for me. I was in the running for not only Best Web Radio Show of 2012, but Viewer's Choice Award and Most Creative uh, Web Radio Show of 2012. Uh, most creative went to Rainbow Owl of Paranormal Addiction Radio. Paranormal Addiction Radio. If you haven't seen this guy, you need to. Uh, look up Paranormal Addiction Radio or look up Rainbow Owl. The gentleman's from England, and uh, he's actually Australian, uh, but lives in England. Uh, so you do the math on that one. Uh, I don't know. Relocation issues? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, he's a great guy, uh, and uh, I thought I was creative with some of my characters. This guy is off the chain. Um... Uh, I tried, guys, and I gave it a hell of a... I, I gave him a hell of a run. <laughs> but this dude is insane. I, uh, I would, I, I've already worked with him on one project. Uh, we did the Littlefoot uh, episode, first part of the Littlefoot episode, which we blindsided uh, Richard Parnell with uh, the Littlefoot episode. Um, thanks to Rainbow Owls, Computer Savvy, uh, Creativity... And uh, brainstorming with old Bobby the Wolf Mullins, we come up with the idea of a creature called Littlefoot. Well, Littlefoot ended up being our boss, Richard Parnell. <laughs> so we blindsided him. He didn't even know it was coming. So that shows you when you put the best web radio show with the most creative web radio show, yeah, it's just dynamite, baby. It's just dynamite. And uh, the person who won Viewer's Choice is my big brother. Basically, I call him my big brother. It's Rick Wiggerson and his wife, Margie Wiggerson. They won, for Paranormal's Raw Truth, they won the Viewer's Choice Award. But, and I have to put this asterisk in there, because you know I'm telling the truth. You only beat me by a little, baby. You only beat me by a little. So, big bro, <laughs> you may have got me this time, but I'm coming for you, big bro. <laughs> but anyway, <coughs> Like the chat I had with him before, just to let everyone know, if he won Viewer's Choice, I won Best Web Radio Show, and Rainbow Al won Most Creative Web Radio Show. Where are all these older dogs after we're in the yard that were supposed to be dominant? 
coming for you guys. <laughs> We're coming for y'all. Yeah. See, you slipped. You didn't listen, old Bobby the Wolf Mullins. No. You didn't listen. You didn't pay attention. And you didn't take notes. Remember my first show? Listen. Pay attention. Take notes. Because <laughs> we're coming for you. you got to not underestimate the ones at the bottom. The ones at the bottom are hungry. The ones at the top are full. Okay? They get complacent. They get lazy. Well, guess what? You got complacent. You got lazy. And three of the awards that, oh, y'all should have just dominated in, you didn't. <laughs> now, for you bigger names out there, and there's one lady in particular. If she wants to cross horns or teeth, claws, with old Bobby the Wolf Mullins, let's just say I saw the numbers on the viewer's choice thing, and you would hate, you would hate for me to reveal what numbers you had, being that you're the proclaimed number one in paranormal. I saw the numbers. Let's just say you weren't even in the running, sweetheart. <laughs> you weren't even in the running. I lost by 100 votes. I had 100 votes. You weren't even close. And you're supposed to be the dominant. <laughs> so be careful. Be very careful of who you decide to lock teeth and claws with. Because remember what I told you. Information is a powerful weapon. And I know a lot about a lot of things. <laughs> but anyway, out to the rest of them who won their awards. I mean, it, it's amazing. I got to meet Karen Miles. Oh my God, this lady's amazing. She is so nice and down to earth. You wouldn't even think... You wouldn't even think she got host of the year. Oh my God, really? And she'll talk to anybody. She's so down to earth. She's an incredible woman. If you ever get a chance to talk to this lady or meet this lady, you're a better person for it. I mean, just, the award winners, uh, the PXP girls, I got to talk to them. They're great people. They're a producer, everybody. They're great people. They're amazing. They took a genre of just great looking women and mixed it with ghost hunting. And it worked. Oh my God. How cool is that? They opened, their, they, they opened their eyes. They opened their ears. They thought. They used their brain. Really? That's what I'm talking about. Pay attention. Listen. Take notes. Good Lord, people. It's not that hard. Hold on. I gotta, you know. <laughs> Research and development. <laughs> Anyway, sorry this show hasn't been about a lot of paranormal, but I just wanted to show off my award. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> I'd like to thank all the people who voted for me and uh, all the... Uh... Shut up. Okay, I'll shut up. No, I don't know. I'm just goofing off, man. I've had way too many beers, and I'm stoked about this award, and uh, I just want to thank everybody for it. So, guys, I've run this thing about as long as I can, or as long as I really want to. <laughs> but anyway, um, hopefully next week I'll have a guest. I've been trying to get Rick on, Rick Wiggerson, uh, winner of the Viewer's Choice Award. He's had a few family issues and whatnot. But we can do that anytime. And I'm hoping, hoping to get Rainbow Owl on, uh, winner of the most creative web radio show of 2012. And uh, whoever the hell else will just answer the phone. <laughs> Oh, God. But anyway, look, guys, I'm going to get off here. And uh, like I said, thank every, thank you, everybody, for the award. Thank you for all the votes, uh, all the fans, um, all the people involved, uh, the crews that did the judging, my boss, Richard Parnell and, you know, Teresa Parnell and uh, Brian Ballard, uh, Batman. Thank you guys for seeing potential in a bottom-of-the-barrel kind of redneck guy. <laughs> But anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, remember, remember, <laughs> pay attention. Pay attention. Open your eyes, open your ears, and open your minds. Pay attention to what walks by, crawls by, flies by, and or 
slithers by. And if you get a picture of it, send it to Bobby the Wolf Mullins. I just might put it on the show, guys. That's one white wolf zero seven zero six at att.net. And as always, as always, and T, this goes out for you. Remember, on three, one, two, three. How about your boo?